going on? Are you okay? Yeah. This is Varla Davis. She's my new something. How y'all doing? Are y'all pretend police officers, too? No, ma'am. We are real policemen. What's so important? I'm not crazy. It's true. Uh-huh. A woman named Meredith Preminger lives right there. Uh-huh. She's Sharona and Varla's creative writing teacher. And last night, she killed her husband. Uh-huh. And it was Sharona's idea. No, it wasn't. Well, in a way, I... Here's what happened. A month ago, Sharona wrote a murder mystery about a woman who kills her husband using a virtually untraceable poison. The story was a blueprint for a perfect murder, exactly what Meredith and her lover were looking for. But they had a problem. If they stole her idea, after he died, Sharona might become suspicious. Somehow, they had to discredit her in advance before the murder. So nobody would believe her. Exactly. So Sharona started seeing things. Like dead people. And losing things. Yeah, and they must have stolen the keys from my purse and made copies of them, and that's how they got into my house and moved everything around. Look, at 5.30, I am off the clock. I don't care if y'all are still looking for Waldo. I'm out of here. So that's the new nurse. How's that going? Oh, I love her. Couldn't be better. Help me. Ms. Preminger? That's right. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I know this is a bad time. I'm Captain Stottlemyre. This is Adrian Monk, Lieutenant Disher, and I believe you know Varla Davis and Sharona Fleming. What's going on? Well, ma'am, there have been some questions raised about the death of your husband. By her? Captain, she's delusional. I mean, you could ask anyone. Meredith, is there a problem? God, that's, that's him! They want to talk to me about Max's death. It's not a good time. Maybe after the services on Saturday. You mean after the body's been cremated? You poisoned him and you got the idea from that story I wrote. Did I? Yes. Can you prove it? Yes, I can. It's right here. This is my second draft. The Fatal Recipe. It's a good title. Help me. Help me. Somebody help me. Help me, please. Help me now. Shit. Girl, you know this is going to affect our grade. Is there anything else? I didn't think so. They, they, they must have taken the real papers when, when they were in my house. They... My fault. I should have read it first. Well, it couldn't have hurt. Sharona, has anybody else read your story? No, she told me not to show it to anyone. Would the poison show up in an autopsy? Probably, but no judge is going to order one without any evidence. But then, listen, there has to be something. There, there, there... Oh, whoa, 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 I know where there's a copy. A copy of your story in your own handwriting. That's impossible. Oh, it's possible. And I'll show it to you on three conditions. Number one, I'm not waiting two weeks. You taking him back today. Right now, the party is over. Uh, what are the other two conditions? Forget the other conditions. I want you to stay with her. Because y'all are a perfect team. Sharona Monk and not me. Deal. Where's the story? Mrs. Preminger always told us to write our first draft by hand. Something about feeling the words. Right, but I threw it out. She told us to throw away our first drafts. Yeah, but you didn't. You use it as scrap paper and packing material. Kenny smiled icily. Don't worry about the police, he said. The tacolic acid in the soup is 100% untraced. <laughs> Just call me Mrs. Gojek. Well, where were you? I... She makes me very nervous. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have another talk with the grieving widow. Yes, you do that. Uh, but wait, wait, wait. Hold on, dishwater. I need you to take me home, baby. It's 5.30. I need to go with the captain. No. You need to take me home. I'm not gonna be standing around here watching y'all read nobody they write. Now, I'm ready to go. I said I get off at 5.30, I get off at 5.30. Get in the car. Come on. Get in the car, let's go. What are you looking at? My eyes are up here. It's jungle out there. 
disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle.